We got a big reaction uh, to our interview last week with Pete Griffiths. Pete was a Scientologist for 20 years until 2008, spending some of those years recruiting new members, but now he spends his time arguing against the belief system that he calls a cult. Here's an example of some of the reaction we got. Peter writes, I signed up for Scientology and while I wasn't impressed, it's no worse than Catholicism or any other religion. They want uh, your money and obedience. They all want your money and obedience. On the other hand, Sheila texted, Scientology is a dangerous cult which fractures families, isolates people and robs individuals of all the money they can get their hands on fair play to Pete. And we received a statement from the Church Scientology itself. We can't read the statement for verbatim for legal reasons, but they describe Pete Griffiths as one of a tiny band of ex-members who shout abuse at our members as our members come and go from our church premises. We love you! How intimidating is that? Oh, rightfully so. Rightfully so. Oh, uh, now, up there... Up there on the third window, <laughs> that one, is a camera pointing at us. How intimidating is that? It says our members do their best to ignore them, but their presence is intimidating. The real story of the Church of Scientology is that it has been experiencing unprecedented growth over the past five years, opening more than two dozen new Scientology churches in major cities and cultural centres around the world. The statement continues that Pete Griffiths and his colleagues have the right to choose their own path, but do they have a right to harass members of the church that Mr Griffiths chose to lead? She does. Which well, we think the big black guy. And there you see a Scientologist feeling intimidated by protesters. And here's the protesters. Have you a message for the Scientologist guys? <laughs> Seriously, just right. This is the real thing. Okay, take take my hand. Come with me.
Let's take a walk in, see the You will see from these next few clips that the following day, six of the signs that we put up outside the mission in that area have disappeared. I wonder who might have taken those. Anyway, we've informed the guardie of the um, abuse or basically the, the theft of our property and they will investigate. It's interesting that the city centre area is covered with CCTV so the people who actually did this are very likely to have been caught on film doing it. I hope you dispose of those posters well guys because when the guards come looking for them dun dun dun